All right, welcome back. Uh, what type of mistakes do ghosts make? Boo boos. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, technically, last one of this equations topic. Uh, we're talking about medication. Now, if you are wanting to be a nurse, you will definitely have to do some of these calculations. If you are a parent, probably going to have to do this. If you have smaller siblings, probably need to do this. Now, all these equation medication calculations, they're simple substitute and solve type questions. Okay, so write out the equation they give you, substitute in what you know, and then solve for whatever is left as your unknown. Okay, there's two main types of questions that you generally see. The first one is adjusting for a child dosage. So there's an adult, I don't know, medication that you need to adjust for a child. So you don't want to give them the same dosage. Um, or the other one is when we talk about putting people on a drip, getting the flow rate right, or giving the, the drip rate right. Okay, so uh, this is an example. There's Freed's, there's, uh, there's two more types of formulas. Rides formula. There's two others, long story short, but all you need to do is make sure you read carefully how the formula works. Now, the dosage or the child dosage, I should say, is the way that you figure this out is it's got to be age and months. You got to know the adult dose and you put it over 150. Okay, now the key thing here is it's going to say in months. Now, to calculate the dosage for a two year old, you know, start underlining bits and pieces here, two-year-old, and the other adult dosage is 30 mils. Okay, so I'm going to write this out. My dosage is going to be, what is this age in months? So two years is how many months? I hope you said 24. Okay, 12 months in a year, so 24 months in two years. So I'm going to write 24, and I don't have to write months, I just need the number multiplied by the adult dose and the adult dosage here is 30. Okay, given by our question, put it all over 150. And let's see what that gives us, 24 times 30 all over 150. And you should get 24 on five or it'll be something like 4.8 milliliters. Okay, using that S to D button to change that out. So that means Something that you'd think if you give 30 mils, mils to an adult, what you'd give to a two-year-old would be a 4.8 mil dose. Kind of makes sense. Okay. Small babies need less medicine. Okay. Now the other one here is just more about converting units. Um, so this one's less of a sub and solve and more about playing with your conversions. A patient needs 1.5 liters of fluid over six hours calculate the flow rate in mils per hour. Okay, so simply the way that I deal with most rate questions is write it as a rate. So, so far I need 1.5 liters over six hours. Okay, now let's change a couple of things. The first thing I notice here is I wanna end up with milliliters per single hour. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm not even gonna worry about the six hours yet. I'm gonna try convert 1.5 liters there's, I'll write this down here. There's actually one liter equals how many mils? I hope you said a thousand. Okay, that was horrible, but I'm gonna leave it there because why not? So that means 1.5 liters is actually 1,500 mils. And the way that I do this now is we're almost there. We've got the right units. It's just, I'm still working with six, six hours, but really I only want one hour. So I'm going to divide both sides here by six because six divided by six just gives me the single hour. So I go 1,500. I'm going to divide that by six and that's going to be a clean 250. And so again, if I need 1.5 liters over six hours and this person needs to be hydrated at that rate, um, the way that we break it down is okay. They need 250 mils per hour. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, another short one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.